Hi YouTube, it's well since I couldn't move those stones I made my grandfather stuff. And I think it turned out pretty good. So in lieu of the big rocks I'm using this. I I did I did find another rock that's fairly heavy. Uh, but I should be able to move it. So I'm gonna add that to the base of this. Is my grandfather, and as you can see, all my colors and grandfather's colors are on there. All right, so that's that. And also, I made an ancestor one with the ancestor colors and what have you. So there you have it. Uh, these will be going out shortly, and hopefully. Uh, <clears throat> As you can see, they're totally different, but uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm quite happy with with that so far. So that'll be going out shortly. Hey, I got the ancestor post in. That was ridiculously harder than it should have been. Uh, but it's in there. Uh, so obviously now I just got to put some gravel. All right, I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, so now the ancestor totem is connected with the four directions. So I gotta put grandfather totem there. It's sitting there. So we'll see you soon. The grandfather totem is now in. As you can see. So the uh, grandfather totem. And the ancestors need to be connected, and then they will also connect to the four colors. That's pretty cool. Okay. So there we go. All connected. Uh, now all I gotta do right there is get a big honking family stone, and I need two smaller stones for each side. Okay, I don't know about you, but. I call that a big honking stone. So I see two more little stones. And look. ancestors and grandfather are rejoined with the grove. There you go. As you can see, I'm going to take a walk around. Have a, have a look so far. <sighs> Head back to north. There we go. Almost forgot to do your daily bird eye view. And there you go.